Well, I went to the mall the other day and I ran into this yarn store and it was fabulous. Yarn and uh, knitting and crochet supplies. And of course, I go much too fast when I take the video. Someday I'll learn how to do this better. So I've slowed down the video and now I'm doing a voiceover. And um, they just had a lot of fabulous, fabulous yarns and the colors. I was just so blown away by the colors. And I hope you'll be able to catch, capture a little bit of how wonderful it was the store and all the yarns and the fabrics. Here I'm talking about my finger, talking about how um, I had started to make uh, crochet with me videos and then I had that accident with my finger and it's still recovering. But I think I, I'll, I'll go forward with showing more uh, crochet because I like to do those uh, uh, vintage uh, doilies. I have a lot of uh, patterns from the 40s and 50s and I have old vintage uh, thread that I like and I also have uh, crochet hooks. Now they make the same crochet hooks just about today only they're uh, my older ones sometimes when I've bought them I bought them in lots on eBay and you know sometimes they're worn out or old but I, I have a lot and I also, talking about patterns, I really love the mail order patterns. I've got a whole collection of mail order. Laura Wheeler, Wheeler is one, and I can't remember the other one. And what else am I into? I like uh, embroidery. I have a collection of embroidery thread and some patterns, but I haven't gotten around to that doing the embroidery, and that takes more of a skill I believe than the crochet and also with embroidery you can get into what you call stump work and that's like a three-dimensional dimensional embroidery where you embroider and you use thicker sw uh, threads uh, uh, stitches that uh, use a lot of thread and have a lot of depth to them you can incorporate in stump work you can incorporate uh, different fabrics and attach the, the fabrics to or you know use rhinestones or sticks or um, all different things but anyways I'll go ahead and let you look at this video and I hope it's slow enough so you can get an idea of all the beautiful stuff that I ran into um, here this uh, tells the hook size that you'd use for the different uh, thickness of the thread whether it's knitting or crochet, which to use knitting needles or crochet hook. And all these things are guidelines pretty much. Um, if you follow a pattern, generally I know with the vintage uh, crochet patterns, you need to use the thread that they recommend and the hook that they recommend, or else it gets a little kitty wampus. Is that how you say sometimes it gets, doesn't lay quite properly? I've got some beautiful, beautiful uh, crochet that I've done and some that I've found at the sales. And I do have an old video out there on, on my uh, crochet or doily collection, but I can update it. Uh, I think I will. I'm kind of interested in it. As long as my finger comes through for me. Here we're looking at the uh, different supplies. I believe this package here was $35 and that's all the different size or quite a few different sizes of crochet hooks for doing doilies. They were not the, the bigger hook. The bigger hook, like that hook there, is used um, to crochet socks or whatever. The doilies pretty much have the very thin, small, small hooks. Um, they have wood hooks. Um, hooks for um, socks um, that's what I'd like to learn how to do is make some socks um, I use a lot of socks in the winter <laughs> keep my feet warm okay enjoy the rest of the video um, thank you so much for watching okay bye <laughs>